got a good day ahead of us today. I was up and at him pretty early this morning. Went and got a car wash, got some gas, uh, made a couple stops, and now I'm on my way down to visit Rick from McCall Bag and Blade. He messaged me and said he's got a couple leather knives for me to try out, like a head knife and some skiving knives. I'm excited. There it is right there. Those are beautiful. We got the round knife or the head knife, right? So yeah. skiving knife, the Japanese style skiving knife. Yeah. And then just something a little different, a little unique. So this is Rick from McCall Bag and Blade. He reached out to me on Instagram and uh, said he's got some knives for me and he delivered. They're beautiful. Yeah, I'm gonna have to kill some time. I'm going to pick up Bill from District Leather Supply. If you're a leather craftsman, you probably know about District Leather Supply. And if you don't, you should, but he's coming to visit. He's on tour visiting a bunch of leather craftsmen all over the country and uh, I think we're stop number two. But I'm going to pick him up and I'm excited to meet him, so it's gonna be a good day. There's the man! What's going on? What? It's good to see you. Yeah, nice to meet you, man. How's it going? It wasn't bad. How's it? talking about leather and business and life and fears and all of our deepest darkest secrets till we're blue in the face we're gonna go get bill checked into his hotel and then grab some din din yeah what are you feeling by the way you really want in and out how about like something else and then in and out for dessert <laughs> and i don't mean like a shake i mean like a burger and fries for dessert. <laughs> let's go get a hotel motel putting you in the holiday inn took Bill back to his hotel room and uh, it's pretty late. I'm gonna go pick him up in the morning again and we're gonna do a little bit of work out in the shop, maybe get some more content, hang out, shoot the breeze, and then I'm taking it back to the airport around noon. So it's time for me to go in and go to bed. Good morning, everybody. It is not morning. It's 12.15, July 31st. I'm here at Bill's hotel. He and I went and got some lunch, but we had to come back to his hotel because he left a camera battery charger or something like that, so we're back. But heading to the airport this morning. I'm <laughs> sad to see him go. <laughs> We've had a good time. I thought they kidnapped you. Oh, they did. I had to clean the room. <laughs> they punished you. I'm having a serious case of milkshake regret, man. <laughs> Dude, Ooh. I know. This is it. I hate goodbye. <laughs> All right, dude. Okay. Travel safe. Appreciate it. See you next time. See you, man. There he goes. That's it. And we're back. Big thanks to Bill from District Leather Supply for coming out, spending time with us. I learned a lot from him. You might not know it because most of the time he's playing the role of supplier, but he's actually an incredible craftsman. The wallets that I've seen him make are just top quality. So back to my normal day-to-day -day routine. Before I wrap up this video though, I want to do a really quick product highlight. All right, today's product feature is a number 52 in our oil tan vintage brown leather. This leather is full of character, beautiful markings, lots of texture and pull up. We've been offering this leather on and off for quite a while now and it's always been a favorite of mine. As always, the vertical wallet holds about 10 to 12 cards comfortably. You can do about two in each pocket and you also have these two hidden pockets right here. It's in a bifold style with a vertical orientation but it's a really compact, simple, timeless little piece. I'll leave a link down in the description so you can learn more or go pick one up. And if you have any questions about this wallet send me an email or DM. And I think that's it. I hope you guys have a good day and we'll see you on the next one. Bye!